this tutorial we'll see component interaction using input property so we have three components here app component parent component and the child component so app component will basically host the parent component named m parent and the m parent will call a child component named m child and pass the data into the child component so let's begin I've taken the quick start project of angular 4 so as you can see here in the index.html we have my app component which is our app dot component okay so let's begin creating a parent component I just create a new file employee dot parent dot component dot ts so I will name it as m parent I'll create the class and parent. I will create an array named as employee, which will have three values, and then I will display it here. I will use ng4 let m of employees and I will display the name Now since we have created the parent component, we will call it here in the app component. As I have discussed, the app component is going to host the employee.parent.component. So I will just call it here. Also, we have to import it in our app component. I will, I have imported the M parent component. Okay, so we are good to go. Okay, one more thing here is that we also have to import it in the modules component. I will add the M parent in the declarations. So we'll just run it. Oh, we have to also put this in double quotes. Just run it now. Okay. We are displaying the three values from the employees array. Now let's create a child component 
new file employee dot child dot component dot ts I will name it as m child let's create the class m child now as discussed we are going to pass the value from the parent component into the child component so there is a property called as input so before using input here we have to import it from the angular core so i will just import the input component first and then we can use it here okay i will just name it as name and it's of type string now here we'll just keep it simple we we'll just write the selected employee name is break and the name of the input property okay now we want to access this input property in the parent component so just go to the parent component let's create a input of type button you just give a click event we'll call a function named set name and we'll pass the m variable here send to child okay so i have just created a button and given a click event to call a function named set name and we are passing each value of the array named employee into this function so we'll just create the function set name i will just create a variable named as name and let it be string and i will just set it here this dot name equal to whatever value which is set into the set name this would be a string okay so we have set the variable named as name and now we'll host our child component in the parent component and then pass the value from the parent component to the child component so let's host our child component in the parent component okay now as we have discussed we have an input property named as name so we will just call it here in brackets we will give the name and and set the value of the input with our variable
and as you know this name is set here in this function by looping through all the values into the, of the employees also we will import our child component here m child we also have to do the same thing in the models we'll import it here and add the m child in the declarations okay so we are good to go we'll run this okay so i will click on any of the button okay you can see here whatever row i am hitting the value from the parent component is passed to the child component now this part is of child component where you can see the name is been displayed initially unnecessary we can see here the selected employee name is since we have not selected any value then also this message is coming so we have to hide this message initially i can just put it into bold and give it an ng if condition now you have noticed initially the text will be not there only if i select something the text will be displayed so this we can achieve by using ng if this says that if there is something in the name then only display this text otherwise don't display so one more thing here we can also give any allies name to our input property it's not necessary to use the same name for example i can rename this property as child name and you can see here oh sorry i have to use it here instead of name i will just paste here child name and that's it we are good to go it behaves the same way as previously now we can achieve the same thing using input setters also so what we can do is here is that we can instead of using this we can also have a private variable called name let it be string and we'll have an input property and a set function so let it be set child name let it be string and i will just set it here as this dot name equal to set name i will create a get object of type get child name which would be of type string and i will return this dot name 
So what I have done is I have just created an input setter property. This function I am setting this dot name and the get function I am just returning this dot name. So the things remain same. What I have to do is call this function in the parent component here instead of child name which we used previously. So I'm going to call the set function here and the get function which is returning the value here. So I can also do a small change here. I can remove this. Copy this text and paste it here. So it's undefined. I'll just click here. And the set property has been called. Okay, we can fix this undefined issue by just calling if string name not equal to undefined. Okay, you can see here initially nothing has been displayed. And when I click here, the data is passed from the parent to the child using the setter property. So just a small recap, we have created a app component, uh, component in which we have hosted the m parent component which is here. Inside it we have a employee array. What we are doing is that we are looping through the array and passing it to a event that we are looping through the array of employees and we are passing the name of the employees into this function of the click of a button. On the click of a button we are setting our variable named as name and then passing it to the input property of our M child and in the M child which is here we are just setting it here and as you can see whatever value which is selected in the parent is displayed here so that's it guys thanks for watching and please subscribe